Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today we will be ranking the pros and cons of dating each replica from Signalis. This is a special video in honor of Valentine's Day, so it's gonna be a little goofy. So with no more delay, let's get right into this. Starting off, we have the simplest unit, the Yules. The Yules have many pros, be it that they are great cooks, great cleaners, which honestly makes them the perfect stay-at-home wife. They are also great at paperwork and filing, which makes them great for working in the workforce if you wish to stay at home. They can sing quite well and play the piano, meaning you'll be able to hear their excellent skills should you give them the chance. And they are also known to give adorable little nicknames, so expect the best pet names from them. Finally, they are also great at dancing, and apparently that's good for something. I'm not going to elaborate because YouTube would kill me. They do have some downsides though. First up, they need to stay pretty at all times, and would constantly be looking in the mirror to make sure they are. This means spending lots of money on cosmetic things and making sure they keep looking nice. Can't be poor with a Yule GF. Next thing, they are uh, known to listen to music for hours deep into the night. So forget sleeping, it's Yule Dance Party Hour. Overall, I'd say Yules are pretty solid GF options. Being able to either take care of the home or work in the workforce, they're quite versatile to many different types of relationship goals. So all around, solid choice. Moving from the Yules, we have the Aura units, aka the easiest unit to get me demonetized. These units have lots of assets, and that's certainly an appeal for many people in dating them. However, there is more to these replicas than just the fleshy bits. Being great mechanics, they can rewire your TV to get you past that state censorship board, and fix the toilet in case those ration marks don't go down correctly. Overall, Rs get their benefits from their bottom line, but aside from that, they're honestly pretty standard. From the Rs, we got the first of the Protector Core, the Star Units. These tall commanding units can easily fall into the favorite category of anyone who wants a tall queen to boss them around. With the tendency of a rigid social structure, you can find yourself either solidly below a star or solidly above, and that dynamic certainly appeals to the fantasy of some strange goobers. Stars are also known to be pretty good soldiers, meaning that you're probably are going to be good at keeping you to a schedule and productive. So if you're lazy or a mess, a star GF can fix that right away. Or if you're someone like me that has a strong work ethic, a star GF will make sure to play along and help you with that. Stars also got a solid as fuck pickup lines as we see in the, the mines with a whole wherever I'm going, I'll wait for you there. Like damn, that's a solid as fuck line. Like that would have had me sold for real real. Also, the ability to drop witty pickup lines on them, like, yo, I wanted to watch the stars, or you're my starling, or, or something like that, is so potent that it cannot be ignored. Downsides of the tall stars is that if you're, like, someone that likes being on equal footing in a relationship, you are fresh out of a chance with these mass soldiers. It's either being above or below them with really no other options. And, and let's be honest, you're probably below them. From the stars, we come back to the ground with the storches. God, I knew the moment I started making this video the Dami Mommy Storches was going to be the most interesting to cover. These tall commanding units make the relationships of the stars look like a freedom paradise. Benefits. There is no question that you will be below them the entire relationship. Also, they are good at problem solving, as shown by Sipin. They also are pretty smart, as they do a lot of reading. Honestly, they probably play Hoi 4 in their free time. Aside from that, the benefits all emerge, and for some of you, are going to see these following negatives as positives. So, the negatives. They are known to beat people and find joy out of it. They are literally interrogation units, and they are armed with a stun baton. So yeah, if you got like a particular taste, this towering unit is for you. We continue towards the round with the next unit, the Calibri. These tiny little radio units are sure to be a fan favorite for a reason. Uh, that, that is that they're tiny. Starting off with positives, you like short girls, here is the option for you. These short little replicas wouldn't need lifting up to reach the top shelves, a job you're going to be expected to fill. If you like nerds, these little replicas are known to be giant book nerds and will read anything they can get their tiny little grubby little paws on. So, you can have some great group reading sessions with your new babe. Perfect date idea. I mean, I, I take credit here. They also can project things into your mind, allowing for some awesome, totally SFW things that I'm totally allowed to talk about on this channel. But the downsides, they can read your mind. Every one of your thoughts is now known by them. So for you wackos, these babes would reject you before you even asked. Next, they are quite literally propaganda bots created by the nation. So I expect your mandatory six item check before bed every night. They also are extremely attached to their sisters. So expect a lot of family visits, you know, every single day, probably. Maybe every single hour. 
So if you like short little radios that can read your mind, the Hummingbird is for you. From here, we have a dishonorable mention, Adler. If you're gay or like men, I am sorry, but there is no replica for you. Adlers have no positives besides being a simp over you and being obsessed with your every action. Be careful placing down that pen you just used, because you take your eyes off it, and 20 minutes later it's going to be in his nose, and then in this collection of things you want used at least once. And you can't go, no Fido, because these stupid replicas are high ranking, so if you try to stop his down bad behavior, he would just erase it from the records. Overall, 0 out of 10, don't date. From that trash, we now have one of the fan favorites, our main character, Elster. Elster units are great for a lot of reasons. Being designed to be versatile, they have built-in radio modules, are great at repairs, are smart, and good at puzzles. They can also wear armor, and are usually paired up with one other person, who, for your case, I hope is you. These loyal replicas must have tons of positives if Aerie was that down bad for them. But they also don't talk a lot either, so you're going to have to work and, you know, be very charismatic to get some emotion out of these adorable silent protagonists. Next, we got Myaina. Haha, <laughs> you thought I forgot about her, didn't you? I did. Now, these giant lovable mech warriors are awesome, being gentle, loving, and caring units that can also do all the heavy work with their giant lasers and giant mech suit. And as they say, the more of you there is, the more of you to love. They love cats, so they won't mind your cat collection, and they won't judge your blaha or other stuffed animals as they love those too. Miners are smart enough to navigate the mines and its tech, but also don't know how to read or write, giving you relief from that giant pen and paper bill that all the other replicas have, or giving you a beautiful dating opportunity to raise the literacy rate of the Yusan nation. Downsides. Uh, you're fucking dating a, a Gundam. Like, she's adorable, but my dude, that's basically Bumblebee. Overall, do what you want out of 10. Finally, though, we have the queen, or the being who calls herself God. Falk, uh, Falk is tall, Falk is commanding, and able to rewrite your mind so you're compelled to think you always like those two things. She's probably caring about her facility and is also very much a hard lover, like, think akin to Yandere, as she was willing to literally kill or try to kill Elster when she approached her bay. So I, that's cool, I guess, but no third wheeling, I guess. Uh, Falk also has some downsides. Uh, number one, she's a little bit arrogant. Like, she, she thinks she's God, but then gets killed by a bird. Like, wh what? Two, Falk cannot fit through doors. Like, good luck getting her into your bedroom. It's not happening. She can't fucking fit. Number three, Falk would not listen to you. Do not even try to be in charge. She is God now. So, so like, if you want to date God, here you go. Here's Falk. Date God. Go right ahead. I'm not going to stop you. That's not the goal. Overall, Date whoever you want. I'm just giving advice because I'm the lore guy. I'm the, I'm the one who knows the details about what would go on if you were to date these people. So, so take my advice into consideration before you find yourself in a situation you might not like. I, I'm just food for thought. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. It helps the channel out. And if you'd like to talk to either me or other Signalis fans about the game, theories, lore, who you date, mods, I don't know. I have a link in my description to my Discord VSL below. This has been Christopher Beast. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time.